Hi guys, D900 Man from MigratiPhone.com. And just last night, Apple released iCloud Beta to the public um, on their website. So let's have a look at it and see what it involves and how it works with an iOS 5 running device. So my iPhone, as you can see, is running iOS 5. Um, so therefore, I can use the iCloud to send information over. So first of all, this is what the iCloud login page looks like. And it looks similar to what the expectations of WWDC 11 previewed um, or what people believe the mock-up of the login page would look like. So when you first log in, this is what it looks like. You can see you get your um, iOS 5 different applications and um, symbols and so you've got mail, contacts, calendar, find my phone and a new one that nobody was expecting which is iWorks. So let's have a look at iWorks first of all. So we all know what was entailed in iWorks on the Mac. You had pages, numbers and keynotes. And from iOS 5 Beta 4, you would actually be able to upload these documents to iCloud. So it looks from this that you're going to be able to edit them on the fly on the web page as well. So iCloud stores the documents and keeps them up to date on your device and on the web. So to get started, you need to launch uh, pages on your iOS 5 device and turn on iCloud. Unfortunately, this isn't working yet, and Apple haven't really switched this, uh, flipped the switch. So this is what you can see. You've got pages there, numbers, and also Keynote. So going back to the main menu, the next one you've got is Find My iPhone, um, which works with Find My iPad as well. So we're all familiar with this. It was in Mobile Me as well. And Apple haven't switched the switch for this either. Um, it still asks you to head over to me.com to be able to use this feature and sign in over there. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, months, um, when iOS 5 gets released to the public, you will be able to use the Find My iPhone bit um, on iCloud. So the next one is Calendar, and Calendar works really well. So I'm just going to launch this on my iPhone as well. So you get all different views. You get your list view just here. You get your month view, week view, day view. And you can turn off your calendar control panel as well. And you also get your notifications if you get sent any uh, invites to any appointments. As down, you can see your different type of calendars. You get home, work, and I've got one set up for my great iPhone. But you also get your reminders, which is linked into the reminders app on iOS 5 on your iDevice and then you also get your reminders of what you need to do just down here as well. So let's over, head over to week and we're going to show you how quickly this does send over the information to an iOS 5 device. So let's just make a new event and we're going to mark it as Migrate iPhone and we're going to call that event Hello World. So once I clicked OK you can see it's changed the colour and it's marked it in the appropriate space and just giving it a few seconds it should appear on my iPhone in just a second. You can see it's just started to refresh just there and there you go. So I'd say between 5 and 10 seconds which is a great feature and it updates really well. So as you can see the calendar app does look pretty much how it looks on the iPad. Go back to the main menu. You next have got contacts as well. So all the contacts information is here. You've got all your different phone numbers and you can add new ones. And you can also edit different ones as well. You get this nice feature here. So you can also add it um, from like a little settings menu and um, you can select all your contacts delete them you can even print them and you can make it your card as well going into preferences and you're able to sort it by different ways as well so quite a nice feature there heading back now one thing I can't show you is the mail application and for some reason it just won't run for me at the moment but hopefully by the time everything does work you should be able to see and it will work pretty much how it does on the iPad or on the Mac so this has been iCloud you've been able to see it running quite nicely with iOS 5 on an iPhone and it works seamlessly it works really well and it's a great feature I can see it being used a lot by myself when I'm working at the computer so I don't have to put information of appointments 
and pick up my phone and do it that way, but I will be able to put it straight on the net and have it on any of my devices running iOS 5. So this has been D900 Man. Please comment, rate and subscribe to our videos. Um, the better those comments and the better likes we get, obviously, pushes it more around and we can do better videos for you as well. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.